Laura L. Florida court document reveals that both victims did not fire any shot. How did he manage to fist bump the victims minutes before they were showered with gunshots? Yeah, we are talking about J Man, the one that was arrested for the double murder. It now start get spooky yet now you realize that the local news are our traditional news outlets start to run with the information. According to Nationwise and Observer, them say squash involved. So before I go any further, let me just make this clear. This is not no vlogger information. We have the official court document, 25p. So it's a long ass document, whole heap of information. Basically, them list out the storyline, everything where you need to know, like from start to finish, different counts of murder. But when I read the page though, I realize two things. One, somebody from our community. Yeah, our community, it seems as if them send the feds them information. Muscleman and Fort La did not fire any shot. Which means surveillance camera capture everything. So I'm ready for me run through everything now. Like the video and let's do this. As you see on the screen, the first two to three pages basically outline the nature of the incident will lead up to J Man arrest like the warrant with them put out all of that. Now, officer responded to a shooting approximately 9.20. They located two adult men lying on the ground, one lying on his back and one lying on his left side in front of the above listed location, both with multiple gunshot wounds. Officer immediately cleared the scene to ensure there wasn't any active shooter remain, after which they declared a rescue team to enter the scene and assess the victims. So after all that, eight minutes later, they were pronounced dead. One of the officers named Jay Reese, badge number 621, he spoke with witness who advised him that there were three adult males that were hanging out in the front of the residence. Now I realize the black team right through the document. Now it's there for two you reasons. You know, an ongoing investigation and of course they now have to leak certain information. Like the witness, the female, you realize say, it lists her name but they block it out. Get what I mean? So the female observed that a black unknown tag mark and model backed up directly in front of the resident. She also states that seconds after, black male, some of which appeared to lighten their skin. So you know, see, I bleach out that. Exit the vehicle with weapons at this time. She decided to run back in her resident take cover. You know what? Uh, loud explosion binds a ring out. Camera footage, capture everything. Now, before I continue the story and explain what the camera footage them pick up, this is what the examiner them pull up on the scene and discover. And all of this was concluded around 11 p.m. Him. So two black males were lying on the road with multiple GSW to the body and head. The first victim was located on the southern portion of the road in front of his waistband was a handgun with an extended magazine. In his left pocket was another extended magazine. He was identified as, as you see them black it up, but I guess we can call him victim and him since they're already gone. You get what I say? He was identified as Fort Lord. Now, the medical examiner on the scene preliminary assessment states that he was wearing a ballistic panel and approximately eight bullet defects to the body. While the second victim, long story short, he was wearing a bulletproof vest and approximately eight bullet defects to his body as well. Now, the thing when we notice with the second victim, see there was a handgun located inches away from his body. Attention to details. This a man, a monster man. Statement in the document, them say, him set up the person there. We don't call him name. So him set up the person there way back in the summer. And this is basically a reprisal. The document also states that several rifle and handgun runs were scattered throughout the parking lot. Multiple vehicles had bullet defects. Judge and no star. You know what this mean though? Holy pie innocent people could I get that shot through the process here. You know? Alright, I could step it up a notch now. I could talk about the camera footage, where them pick up. So when the police them pull up on the scene and I do them work, while them do them investigation and question eyewitness, one of them receive a phone call, say, gunshot victim pull up a hospital. You know what I mean? And you know it go right. This was the breakthrough for the police officer. Them, you know? Now, everything when I go say is based upon the report, I just have to say it in our language so you have a better understanding understand it so according to the footage the police them see a car pull up right the vehicle pull up them see a man exist the vehicle first him wear a blue jeans a black top and a balaclava over him head basically a face mask the document states that the men appear to be leery of the vehicle initially produce a gun remember how them find the victim them one man they have film weapon inches away as me tell you now this a man a muscle man. Now we all know muscle man are ex-military. So clearly I'm going to pick up certain things. You get what I say? I wear bulletproof vest. So you know it go already. This is an innocent man. And at the same time, he's well trained. So he reached with him weapon, you know. But he realized he's a J-man. He realized, oh, I'm a bridging dog. Everything go. So he put back the machine. Them did it. He pull up at the vehicle. He talk to them all the vibe. Now you remember the first witness? 
this is when this person I realize, you know, or at least see what I go on. The female outside have them little picnic, you know, you know a usual night, I will have vibes in high park, you know what I mean? She see the vehicle pull up, the person exists, but of course she see them before. So this has shown me say, since German reach America, them are minor ends a frequent place for him visit. Anyway, minutes after three other person exists, the vehicle fully armed, she disappear and the man them pop off. During this process, it appears that J-Man stooped down. Seconds after him disappear on the side of the block. So him basically shoot off and ground for a couple seconds or a minute. You get what I say? Him probably in my mind I say, yo, Jan was star. I can't believe my friend them just called me up. Remember, say, the report states say, none of the man them will get that shit on fire, nothing, you know. They will get a chance there. You know. Listen this, other eyewitness states at them here shouting. So, Right when them hear the shout, J-Man move from around the building. So him come out, him a pass the man them up on the ground and him fire about three shots. I don't know if him see man a gap or what, or him just feel like him just want to fire for them because he get caught to me no know. If you use a new feature where YouTube offer, you can pause the video and zoom in on the document and so you get a better understanding. Yes, as some of the information they all over the place, I just put it together so you know exactly what go on. It should be noted that there was a blood trail towards the same direction behind the 5825 Blueberry Court that are the building where J-Man run go behind. It. He was seen running next to the green electrical box prior to running behind the resident. There was blood trail droplets on the green electrical box. Droplets of the same blood was also found right where the vehicle is stationed. So before them lift up off of the scene, yeah man, them finding blood there. So by now you're supposed to know the standard how American hospital operate when them are dealing with gunshot victims. The document states that about 1 a.m. in the morning, them send off samples of blood from the scene that are my boy blood, you know, the droplet them. And of course, they're already in the hospital. So you know it come back positive. Plus the description of the clothes where me that wear upon the scene yeah. are the same clothes him wear in the hospital. The same skinny jeans and the black top. Now this is how it starts to get spooky. I mean, need you guys for listening. Because as I'm telling you, it seems like somebody from out there send the feds them information. Even though them still don't get to him, you know, no doubt. Because at this point, the police, them never really know J-Man. Of course, them not going to know him and them, them never know whether or not involved or him supposed to be one of the victims if them be really want that show him to. Who knows? But not knowing his connection to the key and because he was in critical condition, of officers attempt to identify him via local database fingerprints to no avail so he never had no fingerprint right so they realize all right he my alien so border patrol was requested in an attempt to check to see if he could be identified nationally this male was identified by border patrol fingerprint scanner as jaim shelton this is when the first set of information come out when me they make the video and telling you what i go on they even do a video and telling us listen them i'll get to that brother there you know me they telling them i break it down and show you know you know what messy about this when me I read through the document, Jaim Shelton is a Jamaican national citizen who entered the country illegally but is on parole status until he sees a judge about his status. Say, so I tell me, say the man seconds away from free up in our country, you know. I can't believe that the man them get a second chance. I can't sorry for him, you know. The man them get a second chance and a this a thing of them choose. Now, just like what I said in the previous video, I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can watch it because it doesn't make no sense. I got through all of this according to the document. Them states say after them identify him, they were able to find his Instagram handler. That I wanted a messed up move by the man. Them. They send a charge you got in the hospital and then clean off everything on the out there for the man. Like, I don't understand that. Even though, as I tell you, them did I go find it. Pray me, I say. So, them find the angle, them find all of the picture, them, everybody with them locate with, and now them are look for them people. So, currently, right now, as I speak, them no well, let me know. But them are look for them. You think it's all get spooky yet, as me tell you, the documents say a lot, you know. Them even show identification of one of the person when them pull up at the hospital. You get what I say? So them see the vehicle and then probably get a slight glimpse of somebody else in the vehicle, like a face or an image. Them never get that upon the crime scene. But now them get that. Them see German when him are enter the hospital. Him have the black shirt around him neck, like him a whole lamp on the own. And him a walk in, see him pan, see him everything. The worst part about it seems as if German start for talk. See them already identified identify who we must stay with how them identify that he must have a point it already lists in the document say the person was identified by him so now while the detective them start to do some intensive research they received a phone call from one of the victim's family member and them explain say there's this gang feud you know G City and all of that they also received another anonymous tip these are the tip we may talk about the tip will come from you knows what in a this type of them basically talk everything where we know, where we know in a the local areas in Jamaica. 
get on me and say, well, we know as squash them. Yeah, me can call him now because in this state, says squash man, J man, Fred man, call themselves G City Gang. Get what me I say? So when the police them find the Instagram page, the first Instagram page, the one with him name, them never see much until that person had disclosed another Instagram page. All of this in a report in and I'm lad words, you know. Everything what me I say in the report. But now I'm gonna really read out the entire document of what them say. But one thing though, I pay attention to details. When me I read the document, some keywords start for ringing on my ears, I'm like, oh shit. So I tell me, say, hold on, let me read again. I read again, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to ask you guys, you can go through it for yourself. Go through it, pay attention to certain keywords. The prefer me I say, and you guys will have a better understanding of what I say. The document even states that the person say, yo, squash, did that deliver drugs. One video, Missy come out and mention that. Missy words like Ramos, bad breed, cronies. Like, when I hear them terms before, the document is so detailed, it seems as if the person I know exactly what they matter about. However, Mr. One Error, them say squash gang and they had a gang them trade bullet with the gang them as in the man them were dead trade bullet. But we all know say the official report which is this report states that them them man they never fire no weapon. So them basically I tell the feds them about the same incident with them I investigate. That's why a good when police can actually do them right. Information star, my day I may pray. Whoever send them this I can't believe star. Document even states like squash get grazed during the incident again with no say the man them never fire no weapon. You know? And if you watch back my video, then me tell no say squash never get no can. <laughs> but we don't know a thing go already. You know? All my sister is like whoever do this, them take it thing too far and we don't see where the influence are come from. Yeah, man. There's a huge difference when you report on something than when he or she are even a fan. Yeah, it could be a fan. Right, them a farmer information and single gay people. Yeah. And I respect them move. Yeah. And the other hand, as I'm telling you, it get deeper and deeper. The police, them already realized that the incident connect way back to whatever incident happening in Florida from summer. Them a get all them information there and them a see what I go on now. Get me saying as I'm telling them half a certain people, them I look for the other three people them, with the inner vehicle. The document also states that J man a corporate. What that mean? What that mean, brother? I'm a corporate. <laughs> yeah, hear me? Bless up on yourself, man. Any other else information forward me, I'm gonna make you know. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Turn the post notification bell and I wanna check out that video. Yeah, man, go and check out the video.